Hi friends, welcome to Interactive Medicine. In this video, I have explained the basics in endocrinology. We already know the multiple activities of cells, tissues and body organs are coordinated by the either of two messengers. One is electrical impulses and the other is chemical messengers. The electrical impulses are quick and time of effect is short, but the chemical messengers are slow but the duration of effect is long as compared to electrical impulses. In this section, I am talking about the coordination of body functions by chemical messengers. There are several types of chemical messenger systems in the body like neurotransmitters, endocrine hormones, neuroendocrine hormones, paracrine, autocrine and cytokines. The neurotransmitters are released by axon terminals of neurons into the synaptic junctions and act locally to control nerve cell functions. Endocrine hormones are released by glands or specialized cells into the circulating blood and influence the function of cells at another location in the body. Very important to note that the hormones are secreted by the neurons or the axon terminals of neurons into the circulating blood and influence the function of cells at another location in the body. We can compare this in neurotransmitters it is released by the neurons and it is released into the synaptic junctions. In endocrine hormones the glands or specialized cells into the circulating blood but in neuroendocrine hormones the hormones are secreted by neurons and the secretions are goes to the circulating blood. You should study the next two terms, the paracrine and the autocrine chemical messenger system. Both are secreted by cells into the extracellular fluid. But paracrine affects the different type cells near to cells which secretes, and autocrines affect the function of same cell the secretions which are excreted into the extracellular fluid return back and bind to the receptors of its own cell. Finally, we need to study the chemical messenger system or cytokines. Basically, they are peptides secreted by cells into the extracellular fluid and can function as autocrines, that means can bind to receptors its cell membrane, paracrines means affect the neighboring cells and also endocrine that is influence the function of cells at another location in the body. Examples of cytokines include interleukins and other lymphokines that are secreted by helper cells and act on other cells of immune system. Leptin is an example for cytokine hormones produced by adipocytes are sometimes called adipokines. Throughout our next videos about endocrinology, we mostly discuss about endocrines and neuroendocrines chemical messenger systems. The main purpose of these chemical messenger systems interact with one another for maintaining the homeostasis. For example, growth hormone causes growth in many parts of the body Tyrosine increases rate of many chemical reactions in almost all body cells. Other hormones affect uh, only specific target tissues because only these tissues have receptors for the hormone. For example, adrenocorticotropic hormone, ACTH from the anterior pituitary gland, specifically stimulates the adrenal cortex, causing it to secrete adrenocortical hormones and ovarian hormones have specific effects on the female sex organs as well as on the secondary sexual characteristics of the female body. We already studied the endocrine glands, but for an introduction, we can study the anatomical loci of principal endocrine glands, hypothalamus, pituitary gland, pineal gland, thyroid gland, parathyroid glands, thymus gland, adrenal gland or suprarenal gland, two ovaries in female and two testes in male, heart and stomach 
also has specialized cells for releasing the hormones the kidneys the pancreas specialized cells which are present in the small intestine this video clarifies you about the introduction of endocrine system and for future updates stay tuned with our channel and make a thumbs up and share to your friends